which I'll show you in a minute, we have a digital health transformation project, which will be one of the key elements of the program to bring people together. And rather than a traditional thesis that you would tend to see in a lot of master's programs, this is really in designed to, um, to facilitate action, to facilitate groups to work together, to make change, to look at disruptive innovations. And I think that's one of the key advantages of the program. Plus the fact that that is a group program which will involve people from across the HSE, from different organisations, so the effect of that peer-to-peer -peer learning is going to be one of the huge benefits of the program. So what Martin has achieved here today as a joint response across the, the, all of the Irish universities, which in, it, in itself is rather a unique and, and remarkable achievement. But I think to have a national program like this really takes the best of what the Irish university sector can offer. And it, it, it brings many benefits to students in terms of having access to the top researchers, and some of them indeed are in the room here today, and top teachers in the whole area of digital health. But I'd be lying if I said that this didn't pose a challenge to us within the university. It does, but it's not an insurmountable challenge. No more than the HSE, um, we have challenges in working together, but we have done it before. The University of Limerick um, has a quite a good track record. We've, we've recently launched or taken on the third cohort of a postgraduate diploma in school leadership, which is a collaboration between ourselves and UIG and UCD. Um, we've taken in over 250 students per year for the last three years. We've delivered it across eight locations, one of them Oscoelga. And luckily this program is all going to be Oscoelga. So I think we're up to the challenge and I think we will have quite a remarkable program, which is opening in four months time at the start of January, hopefully to more than 30 students. And it's really exciting for us. It's exciting just to have the energy that I think Martin has generated between the different academics um, and we really look forward to working together to deliver this program. So we'll have just a quick look at some of the features of the program. Um, but you all have on your desks, uh, on, your, on your chairs, flyers in front of you that our course director and Edna Gallagher, who's put in Trojan work to get us to this place, has developed. And we're happy to take any questions if you have at the end of this, um, of the launch. So the program is going to start in January. It's a duration of 18 months. It's broken down into two semesters, but um, stretching for about the last year of the program, about the last 15 months of the program, is a digital transformation project that's going to be take, undertaken by groups of three to five students. Um, the problem definition phase is going to happen during the summer, and then the problem implementation will, will run to the end of the project. Fees, as you can see there, are, are 1,200 euro. Uh, there are a limited number of scholarships that are going to be funded by the HSC, but I think the interesting part is going to be the group and the diverse classroom that we're expecting to see. It will be delivered to you using a direct blended learning methodology, and again, across our different institutions, we, we have done that. It will be very interesting to bring all of our learning together to make as good a program as we can. Um, there will be some residential blocks, uh, both in UL and in, in, in the different uh, institutions involved. And you can see there, just briefly, what, what the layout. I won't go through all of those, because those are detailed in, in the flyers that, that, that are on your chairs. Um, we're open for, for, um, for applicants, so um, I'd encourage anybody who's interested to go onto the website. Um, the program will close sometime in October. We expect it to be oversubscribed, um, but we're expecting to take on in the range of about 30 students in January. So we're really looking forward to, to, to getting the program up and running and seeing the change that it, and the in, impact that it'll have within the HSE. Thank you.